And last up, brutal blow to miners. Russia's new law will ban crypto completely and prohibit miners from receiving rewards. This is a very twisted comment or title for a story. I'm going to tell you why. So according to September 3rd report by local media outlet Izvestia, Russia's Ministry of Finance has submitted a new draft for interdepartmental approval, which will make it unlawful to receive crypto such as Bitcoin and Ethereum as a reward for verifying transactions on the blockchain networks. Crypto mining activities in Russia will not be deemed illegal. However, receiving minor rewards would be forbidden. So you can still get paid and you can still do it. You just can't get paid in cryptocurrency, which that's strange, but whatever. Russia's Russia. The bill, however, mentions three unique scenarios in which Russians would be allowed to receive digital currencies. Inheritance, a uh, receipt of crypto and a bankruptcy, and as compensation after winning a legal proceeding. So again, Russia's Russia. I don't understand why they're like, well, you know what? Screw you, miners. But if you get, if you go to the courts and you uh, win a legal proceeding or uh, some kind of bankruptcy, <laughs> no problem. I don't get it, but uh, whatever. Any other transaction involving cryptocurrency would be seen as an offense punishable by law. In particular, Russian citizen found transacting in crypto will be fined 100,000 rubles, which is about 1,300 bucks, and serve a seven-year jail term. And they're not playing around. Legal entities may be slapped with a fine of approximately 1 million rubles, which is around 13 grand. But uh, wow, seven-year jail term. That's kind of crazy. And lastly, it says, unlike other countries across the globe, like China, that are already developing their own digital currencies, Russia's central bank is not too keen on issuing its own national digital currency in the near future. And I believe that part because in parliament from Russia, from what I understand, there's corruption going on. Hot news flash, which happens in every government. Hot news flash again. But um, these central banks, they seem to play a pivotal role in Russia, just like central banks play you know, a pivotal role in, in America and other, other places. Let's let's not let's call a spade a spade. But I think more so here. And there is like this dynamic between Putin and parliament and the central bankers. And uh, I got to tell you, I put my money on Putin. I'm just telling you. But I will say this. Russia and China are trying to get away from the U.S. dollar. So I think the easiest way to do that or the most complete way would probably to make their own CBDC and then start tr to a transaction with all the different other countries such as China and the European Union. I don't know why they wouldn't create their own CBDC, especially if you could transport everything around as easy as it is. I just don't understand why they wouldn't want to do that unless the central banks are fearful of losing power. Ding, ding, ding. That could be it. But who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments section. And that's it for today's video. So uh, lastly, I just want to say that there is a join now button underneath. If you want to join, you don't get anything special. That's just like a buck ninety nine, like a tip. And I just do random shout outs. So random shout outs for the day. Doug Lemley, Melissa Davis. Who else we got? I'm going to try this one. Harvohe Sowich. I think I nailed it. William Howell. Uh, where are we? Johnny Bitcoin. Uh, Jimmy G and Barry Belasco. So thanks for everybody who signed up. I really appreciate it. If you like those two types of videos, there's going to are those two types of videos. Those type these types of videos, I mean two is going to show up on your left and right. Go ahead and check them out. And uh, that is it for today. Really appreciate it and I will see you on the next one.